payday.
I believe the Lord's pleased, Sister Ima Jane, with the ones that have turned out here today. And it's in His name that we're here. Exactly. Brother Kenny, it's not for in order for us to be seen, but that Jesus might be seen through an eye of faith. I'm glad this morning that we have been blessed to assemble, and the little jewel would like to welcome each one, even the ones out there watching. We hope that you'll share this, that it will go out and maybe be of some help to somebody. That's how we do this. It's, a, it's a fearful thing to stand in front of a camera. This is a fearful place anyway. But then when we know there's many out there watching, it even adds to it. But we do this for the Lord. It's not for ourselves. So he'll give us the strength to overcome. He always has. But, but I hope everyone's come praying. We're a little short-handed. Oh, Jesus is here. We're not short-handed. <laughs> as long as the Lord's here, everything's fine. Now, he said if there's only two or three gathered together in my name, he said, I'll be in the midst, Brother Tommy. And I've always found it to be like that. Sometimes in your smaller crowds, brothers and sisters, you have a more spiritual meeting, you know, and I don't know exactly why it's like that, but whether there's few or whether there's many, there's enough food on the master's table to feed everybody. Amen. So we're just glad to be here. There's probably coming a time that we can see all of us are failing in the flesh. But there's probably coming a time, if the Lord did not come, that we're not going to be able to come to church. So let's treasure it up in our hearts, the things that we hear here today. If the Lord bids you to raise up holy hands, to praise his name, you do that. Not because I tell you to do it, but if the Lord bids you to do it. Yes. If it's done in the spirit of the Lord, it'll be good. And that's why we're here. If God is a spirit. And he seeketh such to worship him. This natural man that you look at, he can't worship God. But if you've been born again, you've got a man in here, the inner man, the third person of the Godhead, that we have a direct connection to the throne. And it's God's good pleasure to, to feed his people and to give us the desires of our hearts. So let's say, and it's in faith believing. It's by grace through faith are you saved. Faith is the key. And he gives us all the measure of faith, first of all, Brother Fred, in order to be saved, to be born again. And then he said also to add to your faith, Brother Terry. Yeah. And the further we go along in this thing, he proves himself many, many times. And when he does that, it adds to our faith. Yeah. There was a time when I used to Every time I'd hit a stumbling block, Brother Fred, or a little problem would come up, I'd get kind of worried in the flesh, and I'd have to go back to the time I was saved. I'd get so weak. But it's been many years now, and I don't have to go quite back that far so much as I used to because he's added to my faith, and I trust him more now than what I used to. And if you've been born again, Brother Fred, we all ought to be stronger, and we ought not have to go back to that place, although I like to remember where he brought me from. But we ought to be strong as Christians is what I'm trying to say in the Lord. But we've come here today to worship him, and I pray that he'll pour out a blessing on us that we'll not be able to contain. I hope you'll pray for Brother Terry and myself because, I, you know, I, I don't like to get up here and just ramble on and ramble on, but when the Lord blesses me, it, I, no other place I'd rather be. I love to be blessed of the Lord and to be able to feel His Spirit and to be able to tell about His goodness and about what He's done for us, Brother Tommy, and what He's going to do for us. We're a blessed people this morning, Sister Alberta. Yes, yes And this, uh, the, the world out here, the men and women that's lost and don't know Him, they, they're dead. They're walking around, but they're dead inside. They've never been born again. I was like that for many years, I didn't realize that my soul was dead in trespasses and sin. And they don't understand that either because our eyes had been darkened. Our eyes had been, Satan had deceived us, Sister Imogene. But when I was born again, I've said it many times, I was in the living room of my little house down here. It just seemed like somebody turned on a switch. I don't know how it was with you all. But when he saved me, there was, it was just like a bright light come on. I've been revelated. I've been made alive. 
And it wasn't that the light became brighter, the natural light, but the scales that fell, had fell from my eyes. And I'd been made alive. And I knew it. I didn't have to ask anybody. I knew exactly what God had done for me. And that's been many years now. And he still has me by the hand to lead me along, Brother Terry. Oh, yeah. And he's leading us. And, and where are we going, church? Home. We're going home. home. We're going to heaven to that place that he prepared before the foundation of the world. Yep. He's got a home awaiting on us. And uh, Jesus is on the right hand of the Father, and he's making intercession for us while we're down here on earth. Every time that we stumble or fall, and I'm not saying to go back out and do the things we used to do, but because of the weakness of the flesh, Brother Terry, even our own minds condemn us because we'll have a bad thought along the way. It's an enemy towards God. That's right. It's an enmity towards God, and it's a, it cannot understand the spiritual things of God. But when we're born again, like I said, we have a direct line to our Heavenly Father, to Jesus. And then Jesus presents that to his Father. And that's right. He's our mediator. And our record is clear in heaven this morning. If you're prayed up and living the life you are to be, honey, listen, there's not one thing held against us in heaven. And when God looks at us, Brother Kenny, and I'm glad it's like this. He doesn't see the old man. He doesn't see this old natural man. He sees the perfect man, the perfect man that's yeah. right down in here. He sees, he knows that the blood of his precious son has covered our sins and has cleansed us from all unrighteousness. And we can walk upright in this world not having to worry about that old burden of sin that we once carried of Sister Imogene that hindered us for so long. We're just as clean as a newborn baby in the eyes of God as if we'd never sinned, Brother Brian. It's a wonderful thing. The world can't understand that. So let's just, uh, let's pray we'll have a good service here. And whatever your needs are today, ask God for it because he has the answer to everything. Uh, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer before too long. I've got some names here and then we'll ask for other requests. Uh, Sister Brenda wants us to lay hands on her today. And I don't know if she wants me to tell the problem or not. But she, she found a lump in one of her breasts and uh, we need to pray for Sister Brenda. It'll be all right, Sister. The Lord will take care of you. I believe that. Yes. Uh, but we'll lay hands on you here in just a few minutes. Um, remember Delbert Johnson down, in the, down at the Mount Olive Church. He's got a lot of problems. Um, there's a young man, 35 years old, He'd had family troubles. His wife had left him, and he had two young boys. He had a brain aneurysm three days ago, and he died yesterday. And now his grandmother has him boys, and they don't know what's going to happen or if she's even able to take care of him or not yet. Uh, let's keep, keep remembering Brother John Bowling. He's going to have the two heart valves repaired in about two weeks, he said. Uh, Carl Lambert called and said he wasn't feeling well. Um, but I do have some good news. Uh, Sister Betty, Willie Sloan's wife, mm -hmm. got saved and joined the church. Oh, praise the Lord. was down to Mount Olive. I thought she was already saved. I didn't know, Brother Brian, but she got up and said the Lord had saved her. Wow. So they're going to take her out this morning baptizing her, Brother Terry. So we want to thank the Lord. We're all the time I ask him, but let's thank you for what he's done. Uh, all right, and I think there's one here that might want to have a little praise report. Sister Sylvia, won't you tell us the good news? Sorry to put the spotlight on you. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> well, we've been going to Little Rock for 17 years for him to have his cancer treatment. And when the doctor walked in this week, he said, uh, Mr. Hall, you are our success story. All of his tumor markers and everything were zero this time. Amen. So we don't have to go back. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. The Lord's able. The Lord is able to do whatsoever you ask him. Yeah, we appreciate all the prayers all through the years for our church family. I know you all have been praying for us. Scripture tells us the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man or woman. We don't know, sister. You know, I've always said, when I, I depend upon the prayers of my brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. 
And I've always said, I don't care whose prayer gets through. I just want it to get through. But I believe it hears them all. And you know, at the foot of the 24 elders in heaven, there's 24 vials. And in those vials, Sister Alma Jane, are the prayers of all the saints from all the way back. Yeah. Up to this present time. Yeah. Is that right? Still there. They're still there. And, and, and God answers those prayers in his time. We're an impatient people. You know, we may not see the, our works here on the earth, <coughs> Brother Terry, but the scripture says that your works will follow after you. Yeah. You know, my grandparents used to, uh, I'd come home of a night and I, she'd be at, in the bed there sometimes 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. She'd be awake waiting on me. Yeah. And I knew what she'd been doing. She'd been praying for her boy. And I, we don't know what these prayers are available. We really don't. But God hears everyone. Yes. And they're stored up in the vials of heaven. And they'll be poured out when he, it's at his desire, at his time. His time's a little different than our time. Yeah. Well, is there any other prayer requests? I'm sorry to take so long. Sister. My friend Ashley, her papa died a couple days ago. And they're having a funeral today. So she was the first one. She's not doing good at all. Amen. Amen, Kathy. Sister Barley. Uh, the Nip family uh, asked that uh, we pray for their brothers. There's two of them got cancer. One has uh, cancer of the lungs, and then they found another, another nodule, so he's got two nodules in the one lung. And the other one has uh, cancer of the lymph nodes. And they ask that we all pray for them. Remember it. Sister Brandy. We need to remember Brother Holbert Hamilton and Sister Nancy uh, Hamilton. They lost their youngest boy. He was buried yesterday. Wow. And I don't know what happened, but God knows. And he was, you know, the light of Sister Nancy's eyes. So we need to pray for her very hard because she's really Amen. taken this hard. Amen. And, 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 and uh, Brother Henry and Sister Shelby, too. Yes. Yeah, they're, okay. they're here. They snuck in on me. Did you sneak in? <laughs> <laughs> and then we're thankful. We're thankful. Sister? I got a great grandson that they did test on him. He came down at Mother's Day and saw him. Right. And he's got white spots all over his brain. He's getting into his mm. nervous system. And the doctor said, he's no idea what it is. Mm. Yeah. But he was real quiet and stayed by himself. He didn't even act like he felt when he was younger. Remember, Sister Linda, she's back doing rehab again and stuff. She, we were down to Lexington, and she fell down the steps. She had socks on, fell down the steps. They were real slick. And so she's back doing rehab again, and hopefully this will this will help her. She feels a little better. She's been doing it since last week. But. <coughs> She's had a son. She has. <coughs> yes, right. My mother in law is very interested. Can they get a little more? Yeah, let's have a good job. Thank you. Yeah, brother. Sister. Sister. And I apologize. What's your first name? Barb. Barb. Okay, it's good to have you here, too. Good to be here. Sister's favorite child. Continue to remember Brother Larry and Sister John, and mm -hmm. I'm sure each one needs prayer. Sister, I'm sure. Yeah, 
parents of the Houston Urban Liberal Club and the chair of the Urban mm -hmm. Liberian Sustainable Restaurant. So I, was, I don't know anything about it. I've not heard anything since they took them down there, but they voted for the same way we did. Does she remember Brother Terry? He's going to have a face made for put in on the 21st, I believe it is. Yeah. Let's continue to pray for him. I believe that. I believe it will be a big deal to you. I do. I can still remember his brother in law, Rick. He still yes, yes. Not have, you know, doesn't have an appetite or, you know, still not doing that well. That's but, uh, also, I was about a while Chuck. Still remember uh, Amy, which yeah. is uh, daughter Chuck's daughter-in-law. She, uh, her port <laughs> came and loose, and juggler vein oh. came oh. came loose or whatever, and so they had to redo surgery. And uh, I don't know if they, I guess they've got it hooked back up, you know, good now. But she's the one that had two kidney transplants and needs another one. Just, you know, got two young kids. Mm -hmm. And then remember my brother and Terry's cousin, both had the dementia or Alzheimer's, whatever, you know, they both need lots of prayers. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it was somebody else seemed like it came up, but I can't remember mm -hmm. now. And remember our grandkids. I mean, you yeah. know, it's well, their joy you. having them here. Yeah. And well, they just, you. They've got to go to church with Jessica and the kids, you know, this week. Quite well, they went Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And <coughs> just praying that what they hear will stick with them. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. I'll try to kind of get her to maybe get up and sing some song later, so we'll see. It's not like the other one. Yes. I have a friend in Wayne who's a cardiac surgeon, and he Sins are running rampant, it sure is. Mm -hmm. I believe we're in the end days and we can see it right out here. And, uh, well, if there's no one else, I'm going to ask one of these brothers to give them a song. And then we're going to ask Sister Brenda to come up and we're going to lay hands and go to the Lord in prayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I 
Heavenly Father, we ask you, Heavenly Father, and Sister Marie, that I know the name of the Lord. And amen. Well, bless you, Heavenly Father. Amen. 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 Read along with me if you just go along with me, whatever you want to do. I very rarely have done this, but I want to do that this morning. For some reason, but okay, I don't know. It's good. Lord, for the reason. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> if you study the book of John, you'll find out that he's doing his best to convince them, Brother Fred, that he is Jesus. But no matter what he does, Brother Harvey, they deny him. And we often wonder, well, why, why would they deny him, Sister Berlain? He had a plan to follow. Everything that Jesus was going to do was laid out for him. Yes. Amen. And when the Bible says that he came into his own, and his own received him not, you know, I'd be like one of your children coming and saying, Mother, I don't, I don't know who you are. Can you imagine how Jesus really felt, Sister Dorlena, when he came to his own people and they denied him? Amen. You know, at, let's say that you go to your your sister, your brother, and we see Sister Dorlena differences in family, especially when death comes, over money most of the time, yeah. over temporary things. Yeah. It hurts, doesn't it, when they deny you? Now this hurt Jesus. Amen. But he had to go through with the plan, but already. Yeah. And it was not going to be changed, no matter who said it or who did it. Amen. That's the way it's going to be. Yeah. Now, Jesus is the Savior of what? The world. The world. The world. Yep. Now, the Bible will write these things for this take up faith. Jesus is the Savior of the world, but then it goes on and says, but he is a special Savior unto who? Those that believe. The believer. So, is Jesus special to you today? Yes. If he's special to you today, Absolutely. you've been saved. He's not special, Sister Brenda, to those who don't believe him. Amen. That's bad news. Pretty simple, ain't it, Brother Tom? Yeah. Those who believe are special to him, Brother Brian. Amen. Now, my grandchildren have been here for a week. They're special to me. Why? Because I love them. Sometimes preachers make it too hard to understand. You know, and you read in here and look at, I don't know about me, and judge not by the appearance only. Yeah, that's right. It's there, but for you. Judge not by appearances. Those things that appear yeah. may not be true. That's the truth. It's true. In a lot of cases. They may not be true. People automatically look upon people and say, well, he's not a Christian. Or she's not a Christian. They don't know what's in their heart. 
See? I want to read chapter 6. After these things, Jesus went over to the sea of Galilee, which is the sea of Tiberias. And a great multitude followed him. Now he'll go on and tell you, you know why they followed him? It says, because they saw his miracles, which he did on them that were diseased. Brethren, today he healed them, Brother Dan. And Jesus went up into a mountain, and there he sat with his disciples. And the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was nigh. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he said unto Philip, when shall we buy bread that these may eat? Yeah. And this he said to prove him, for he himself knew what he would do. Yeah. Amen. Think about this. Yeah. He, knew. he knew what Philip would do. Yeah. Philip answered him, 200 penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may take a little. Amen. Not a lot, my friend, but a little. Yeah. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said unto him, I want you to get the power of God here. Mm -hmm. There is a lad here who has five body loaves mm -hmm. and two small fishes. Amen. Not large. Mm -hmm. But what are they among so many? Philip, what are they? I mean, contrary to thinking, two fish and five barrels, how many would, yeah, would normally feed, brother? And Jesus said, make the men sit down. Now there wasn't much grass in the place. So the men sat down in number about what? About 5,000. Five thousand sat down there, Brother Henry. Amen. Now, I can imagine Tilton, ooh, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> and and Jesus took the loaves, and then when he had given thanks, he distributed it to his disciples. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to listen to this. And when he had given what? Thanks. That means he blessed them, brothers. Amen. He distributed to the disciples and the disciples to them that were set down. Jesus didn't give it to the people, but the disciples did. Yeah. And likewise, the fishes as much as they would. In other words, they give them all they wanted. All they wanted. When they were filled, he said unto his disciples, gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Therefore they gathered them together and, and filled twelve, what? Twelve, twelve baskets yeah. with the fragments. You know what the fragments were? The crumbs or whatever may be left over. Fragments is very small. Of the five dollar loaf which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Jesus did, said, This is all the truth that prophet that should come down, come into the world. Amen. When Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force. Now listen to this, folks. When Jesus therefore perceived, he meant, in other words, he knew they would come and take him before to make him a king. Yeah. Now, <laughs> they didn't have to make him a king because he was already a king. Born a king. He departed again into the mountain himself alone. And when the evening was come, was now they come, his disciples went down into the sea and entered into the into a ship and went over the sea toward Capernaum. It was now dark. 
And Jesus would not come to them. And the sea arose by reading of the great wind that blew. So when they rode about five and twenty or thirty furlong, they see Jesus walking on the sea and drawing nigh to the ship. And they were what? Amen. They were afraid. Amen. Now, they'd already yeah. seen all these miracles yeah. that he'd done. But they were still afraid when they see him walking on water for him by long. Yeah. I would have been too. Amen. But he said to them, It is I. Be not afraid. Yeah. Now I'm going to tell you something, and, and we're going to stop there. Some years ago, when Rita was gone, I told this story before, and she was up to her mother, taking care of her mother. And I went down and went in and laid down on my bed. And I was suddenly almost kind of awake by the heart. And I felt something get in the bed with me. I said, I thought, is that really she come home? I felt the bed move down. The weight of the bed go down by the RV. And I rose and see, is that you, Rita? And then I heard these words, it is I, be not afraid. Amen. Now you talk about something stirring me, Sister Brenda. That stirred me. Yeah. Amen. I want you to know to me, I believe it was him. Mm -hmm. And I laid back down with Tommy, and I felt so wonderful and so glad. That he made a visit to me. Yes. For the heart, he made a visit to me. Yeah. It was so real, Brother Lon. You had to be there and feel that. What I felt. I could not believe in my natural self. Yeah. By the friend that that had happened to me. Amen. Yes, Brother Lon. Jesus today is real. He's something that you can have if you want him. Yeah. He's something that to be talked about. He's something to be shown about. He is something, brother friend, that this world does not want. Amen. Somebody said, I don't believe that. The world expresses that, Sister Burley. Yes. They don't want Jesus. No. They want their way, their way only. That's the truth. Right? As I told the young man the other morning, he he's living in a in a, in a place where he's not married to a woman, but he says he's all right, brother. I said, I said, it doesn't matter what I say, but what does share the word of God. Amen. Yes, brethren to me, Jesus is real. And he said, you heard what he said to them. If you love me, what will you do? Keep yeah. my commandments. You keep my commandments, brethren. I don't find it hard to keep Jesus' commandments, brother Fred. Yes, to me, brother Keith. I want you to know when he come and visit me, he's been visiting me many times. Yeah, but my friend, when he comes with great power and shows what he is, yes. somebody said, Well, uh, uh, he's never visited me like that. Uh, uh, maybe he hasn't, but a friend of you, or, uh, but he does me quite often. Yeah, today, but I want you to know he's going to visit this world. One time again. Somebody said, what do you mean visit? That means he's not going to stay. He's a visitor. Go, go, don't you know? When he come before, he was as an intruder. They didn't want him to be a friend. Go, go, don't you know? When he comes the next time, Brother Bob, he's not going to stay very long. And somebody said, well, I, I seen the sign on the church the other day. They said, have you received the Holy Ghost since you've been saved? I, I couldn't hardly believe that. I, I, I want you to know uh, today uh, what people oppose today. But a lot about anything, won't they? Yes, sure. That's the truth. Yeah, but the love to me. I want you to know it comes in a package deal. The Father... The Son and the Holy Ghost. These three are one. Yeah, the Lord to me. But he's 
coming soon. Let me get on. Somebody said, well, I don't believe he's coming. Uh, I'm not afraid, but you just wait around. Uh, 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 he's coming just as sure as I'm hoping. Uh, 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 yes, to be better than the man will say, for God so loved one, uh, uh, the world, uh, that he gave his only begotten son uh, into this world, uh, whosoever should believe upon him, uh, should not perish, uh, but have everlasting life. Uh, when he came to this world, uh, uh, I knew what he was coming for. Uh, yes, uh, Fred, he didn't have to guess about it, but uh, 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 so therefore today, uh, by the long, God, today when he come, brother, uh, I want you to know, uh, uh, he come as a king, uh, and today he was a king, and she is a king, but the long, I, I be called. I, I, I want you to know uh, that today a, a power was given unto him uh, in the heaven and the earth, yes. uh, all of it. But oh, I no. want you to know, hey, man's face in the Bible. I was afraid it said it was not given unto God to judge, but unto His Son. Yes, unto His Son, brother. And I want you to know, uh, and, uh, and the judgment that he gives, it will be righteous, but the yeah, sure, uh, uh, just as sure that I'm here. Yeah, I want you to know, that today that he be a Christian. What does it mean, brother? What does a Christian mean? Christ. It means to be like Christ. And, and so therefore, uh, uh, today, uh, uh, several years ago, uh, they had the WWJD, uh, uh, which is good, brother. And, uh, uh, when you go to do something, uh, would Christ do that? Oh, my friend, if Christ would do it, you ain't got no business to do it either. Amen. Huh? Amen. Is that right or wrong, people? Oh, therefore, today, uh, uh, when Jesus come, uh, uh, they saw from the very beginning to kill him. Is that right or wrong? Sure uh, 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 but I want you to know, uh, about the heart of oh, brother today, he had a time to die, brother Fred. Amen. Did he not know, hurry? He had a time to die. Somebody said, uh, uh, and uh, 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 he told them one time, he said, my time is not yet to walk. Time is always. Do you know when your time is to die? Nobody knows. Nobody knows that. But I know you want. It could happen any time. But your time is always. But here's the cow catcher of it all. Brother Fred, are you ready to go? That's the question. Are you ready to go? Because why? Brother, on today, somebody said, How must I? I get ready to go. Uh, uh, you know why? Uh, oh, but I'm not. I want you to know. I watch the men and watch the women. They'll dress up and get ready to go somewhere. But I'm the best they got. Yeah. <laughs> don't they do that? And there's nothing wrong with that. And uh, uh, I don't want you to know. Uh, uh, among the most of them, uh, I'm putting on the best they got as far as natural is concerned. Uh, but they ain't putting on the best shit, Brother Fred. Amen. They ain't put on the best shit. Amen. Amen. What is that? Amen. Uh, that road of righteousness. And the hand of our salvation. Amen. Uh, today. Amen. Oh, today there's nothing wrong. Brother Fred, we're looking good. No. God wants you to look good. Amen. But I don't want you to know uh, that there's nothing can change you uh, uh, like Jesus, brethren. Uh, uh, you can put on a suit of clothes and look the best they are. And it's all right there, Brother Fred. Uh, but nothing can change you like Jesus. Oh, sir. Yeah, he works on me. Is that right or wrong, brother? <laughs> and you know hey, why? That's a day. I want you to know uh, uh, today that God don't judge you uh, by your appearance. Uh, uh, God don't judge you uh, by what man thinks to do. God, today you're judged by the deeds you do. Yes, sir. Is that right or wrong, brother? Yes. You're judged by the deeds you do. And I want you to know uh, uh, that the Bible says, a good tree, what does it do? Uh, it brings forth good fruit. Uh, and a good tree cannot bring Tree. Is that right or wrong, brother? Yes, sir. <coughs> you 
You have to give me time. My breath is short. Uh, uh, but I want you to know. Uh, 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 oh, brother and sister, Jesus is going to return soon. Yes. What do you mean soon? Yeah. Sister yeah. Brenda, it's got to be close. It's on a good time. It's got to be close. Yeah. How do you know it's close, Brother Fred? The book tells us soon. You know, I told I told them, I think, here a week or so ago, I said, you preachers are giving a book report every time you get in the stand. Amen. Huh? Is that right, Brother Fred? Amen. You're giving a book report. Have you ever read it? Amen. 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 You better, but if you don't, it'll show that you ain't giving a good report, Brother. Yeah. And therefore, today, uh, Brother Fred, and uh, today, oh, every man will stand before Jesus Christ. Every woman will stand before him. Yes, sir. Well, when do you stand before him? Right here in this world, brother. Right now, brother. You're not going to heaven to be judged. You're not going up there standing in front of St. Peter and like they said, you go here and you go there. That ain't what happened, brother. No, sir. You're judged right here. That's right. And I so therefore today, uh, uh, when you're judged, uh, uh, and even in the end, uh, uh, Jesus will give a righteous judgment. Yes, Is that right or wrong, Brother Fred? And, and so therefore today, hey, brother, today, do you love Jesus? Amen. Everyone in here said they love Jesus, and you may. But uh, like I told you before, he said, if you love me, Will. You will keep, keep my commandments. I want you to know uh, what is the commandment uh, uh, the love of thy God uh, yeah. with all the heart uh, and, so, and, yeah. and love your neighbor as yourself. Uh, and, uh, oh, don't you know in the old Pharisees they said, well, we, we're Moses' people. Yeah. He said, if you if you believe Moses writing, what would you do, brother? Yeah. You believe me? He said, well, our father Abraham. And he said, if you been ever have children, you would do what, brother? You do the works of Abraham. They weren't doing it, brother. Oh, but you know what? Brother Lon. Oh, today I want you to know what he was telling them. If you're a Jesus, if you're a if you're a Jesus today, you'll be the works of Jesus. Yes, right. Amen. Everybody will know. Somebody said, I don't know a Christian. But you don't know them by looking at them, you'll but you'll know them by the deeds yeah, that they do. Is that right or wrong? Absolutely. Yeah, but I today. I want you to know the Bible said that a spring should bring forth sweet and bitter water at the same time. They said not to be, Mr. Fred. They said not to be. And not to be. Somebody said, well, I once had it, now I ain't got it. I, I, I want you to know, I heard what he said, all that my father given unto me, I lost none. Is that right or wrong, brother? And so therefore today, oh, brother, today, that Jesus is real. He's not some fog bank that's going to go away. He's not something today that's invisible. Somebody said he's not visible to me. He is to me, brethren. I don't, I don't look at him as looking at you. But I see him. I saw him this week in my little grandbabies. I see him in you, brother Fred. I see him in you, brother T. Do you see Jesus in the people? I do. And if you don't, brother Henry, he's not there. He's not there, brother Harvey. Ghost to that brother. You know, one place in here, Peter said, I'll not deny thee. I'll not deny thee. Peter didn't believe in any brother Harvey. Ghost to that he believed he wasn't denying. But Jesus had already told him. Some people get in here preaching. Preacher, that he got 93 times. I don't want you to understand. He, he said, For the cock, crow, three times, thou shalt deny me. You know what? That's what he said, Brother Fred? That's what he said. He did, too. Amen. Peter said, No, I'm not denying thee. I'll die for you, Lord. Yeah. Why did Jesus say that to him, the learner? Because he knew what he was going to 
going to do. He knew what he was going to do. He knew what was going to go on, Brother Hart. Yes, today, Brother Peter done just exactly what he said he would. And when he done it, when he heard that cock crew, what did he do? He knew he did it, Brother Hart. No, he knew that he had done exactly what Jesus said he would do. And he said he wouldn't do it. He said he wouldn't do it, Brother. He went too, did he? did, He becomes sorrowful. Yeah, agreed. He becomes sorrowful yes. for what he done against God. Yes. You must become sorrowful yes, for what you do against yes. God, my yes. friend. Yes. You must repent and you must be born again. Amen. Amen. You must, brother. Amen. Not maybe, but you oh, must. Going to heaven, you must. Right. All these people are going around pointing fingers and throwing the rocks and going on. They better be careful, brother. Oh, yeah. You better be careful. Amen. They come. They brought this woman to him. She was guilty. Yeah, she was. Huh? Yes. Was she guilty? Yes. She was guilty. So we caught her in the very act yeah. of adultery. Yeah. She was guilty, my brother Fred. She was guilty. <laughs> they didn't bring the man, though, did they? No. Huh? <laughs> you ever notice they didn't bring the man? I wonder why. Yeah, he was one of their own, brother. That's what I say, but I don't want to say that. But I believe it. That'd be my good. Hey, but what you say it with my heart. Amen. Oh, what they were doing, they were trying Jesus, weren't they? Yes. Yes. Trying. And you know what? They're trying to prove the point. Jesus didn't pay much attention to them, did he? Oh, no. No. He stood down on the ground like, who are you? Yes, today, brethren. And he got up and he said, he got, and he said Thou, them that are without sin. Yeah. Yeah. That's the key catcher right there, brother. Yeah. Them that are without sin. He knew he had them there, didn't he? Everybody just approach this by like yeah. that. Yeah. That's the first time they want to say it. Yeah. Let him that is without sin first cast the stone. Yeah. If he did, let me tell you how it is. You watch a crowd today. If one does it, the other does it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Right, Brother Harvey? Yeah. Yo, yeah, he did it without sin. First cast the stone. Was there one thrown? No. Get the question here, Brother Tommy. He did it without sin. Yeah. Why didn't they throw the first stone? Huh? Why didn't they throw the first stone, Sister Doreen? Because there wasn't one of them that wasn't sinner, brother. Is that right or wrong, brother? Yeah. Yeah. Even the priest. See? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody around, brother. They wouldn't hear or were they? He was the only one that could. He was there. Jesus was the only one pure there. Yeah. He even is without sin. First cast the stone. Yeah. If one had cast the stone, that means they all were free of sin. Yeah. You get it, Brother Fred? Yeah. You get it, Brother Keith? Yeah. He is without sin. Yeah. Now you can't change Jesus' words, brother and sister. Oh, no. He that is without sin. Let me ask you a question. Who in here is without sin? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not without sin. Even though God has saved me, I still do things I shouldn't do. You do too. But you don't you don't commit a sin unto death. No. But you do trespass. You do things you shouldn't do. Well, I don't you know. It's all under the blood, brother Fred. It's all under Jesus Christ. And listen, folks. I'm here on business. I'm not here to fool around. Amen. I want you to know you, there's a heaven to gain yeah. and there's a hell to shine. Amen. What are you going to do about it? Amen. There's any in here. I, I look out for me. I don't, I don't see one in here probably man. I don't know. Don't know. I'm not judging by your appearances. But I'll tell you one thing. If I follow you around for a week or two, I'll find out. Amen. I find out what kind of fruit is on your tree. Huh? Amen. I That's find out what kind of fruit is on your tree. Yes. Yeah. And what, if I got a right to go around and say, that ain't a good tree, that ain't, I just keep it to myself. Yeah. 
I keep it to myself. But I'll tell you what it'll do. For me, it'll make me pray harder for that person. Yeah, but my Lord, I can't save them. The church can't save you. But our churches today have got to the point they're almost like a Catholicism, Brother Fred. You come up here and you say you made a mistake and everything's all right again. Yeah. Brother, you better repent to God. Yes. Amen. You better repent to That's Jesus Christ right. for what you've done. Yes. And you know what? No and I believe this with my whole heart. I, for, I Brother Fred, going almost uh, 37, 38 years, I'm, I'm glad that God has sent his son here uh, to die for me. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know today, he died for the sin of the whole world. Yes. In other words, brother, he paid for it. Yes. Yes. You believe me? Sure. Yeah. You believe the sin has been paid for? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, it has. Yeah. If it's been paid for, what is it up to you? It's up to you to take advantage of it. Yeah. Yes. Huh? To receive it. Yes. Yeah. What do you mean take advantage of it? That means to believe, repent, and be born again. Yeah. The work has already been done. Jesus has done the work. But I'll guarantee you this. Every man and every woman will try to make themselves good enough oh, that yeah. God will save them. Oh, no, I didn't. I've done that. Amen. Every man, every woman will do that. Until you come to the middle of understanding you can't get yourself good enough. That God will save you. Know, we found that out. Yeah, today, I want you to know. The day, the Bible will say it exactly that way, my friend. But in the day, you give your whole heart. He should all be with you. Yes, sir. No. So, what does with you mean? I mean, he's going to stay. Yeah. Yes. He's going to stay, brother. Yeah. Yeah, I want you to know to me. My Jesus is not for sale. He belongs to me. Yeah. Huh? He's mine. Personal he's mine, brother Fred. Yeah. How can he be mine and yours too, brother Fred? Yeah. That's right. He's universal. Yeah. He's all over this world. Yeah, he is, brother. Yeah. He's got a great multitude. See? God don't just reign in the United States of America. Amen. He reigns over the whole world. Yeah, we can't How can we fathom that in our natural minds? Impossible. Impossible. You know there's two people, two men or two women, whether you're saying in the race. Somebody said, I don't believe that. They're not in the same race, brother. No. This man here, you see, is raised into the grave. Yes. Huh? I'm going to the grave. Getting our best, but you know what? The spiritual man, if he'd been saved, he's already won his race, my friend. Yeah. Huh? You believe me, brother? Yes. Amen. He ain't got to heaven yet, but he's won the race. Amen. Uh, the natural man you see here, he'll be buried. He will be buried. That's right, when I live there, they burn, they still won't be buried. They're still going to be resurrected. Huh? They're going to be burned. They're going to be resurrected. Somebody said, I don't believe in a body resurrection. Why not? Why not? Do you believe Jesus got out of the grave, my Lord? Huh? Do you believe he had a natural body about him here on this earth? Yeah. He did, did he not? He went into the grave, brother. Into that tomb. I bet he'd already told them. You tear it down. Yeah, or you destroy it. The Bible said destroy it. You destroy this temple. And in three days. I'll put it back together. Absolutely. They knew not that he was talking about the temple of his body. Amen. They didn't know that, brother Fred. They didn't understand that. They didn't know that. But he done that. And not only that, if you don't believe in the resurrection Amen. of the body, did Lazarus die? Yeah. Did he die? He died. And you know, he kept telling his disciples, well, he's asleep. Yeah. They didn't understand. I didn't say yeah, they He did. I just said he's dead. He's dead. And 
they went to the sister's house, and somebody said they didn't know who he was. When he came, they ran out to him, didn't they, sissy? Yeah. They knew him, didn't they? Yeah. They knew him. And one of the sisters said, if you'd have been here, yeah. our brother would not have died. Yeah. Amen. Oh, they heard Jesus. He had something to tell them. He, said, Amen. he had something to say to them. Amen. He shall live again. Yeah. And what did they say, Brother Larry? He said, they began to say, Amen. we know that he will in the last time, the resurrection. What did he tell them? He said, I am. What he is. I am the resurrection. Amen. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. And beside me, there is no other. So, wherever you lay him, all oh, but master, you don't understand. You know what rabbi means? Master. You know what that rabbi means? Master. <coughs> Take me where you lay him, but you don't understand. You don't understand. He's been dead four days. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Can you imagine standing in front of Jesus and say you don't understand? Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine that? That's a natural man. Huh? They're natural minded, but away with them. Amen. But Master, you don't understand. Amen. I wouldn't have that kind of nerve on what I know now. Not yet. You don't understand. He's been dead four days. Yeah. By this time, he's thinking, he should take me where you lay me. And the Bible says he was in a cave. Yeah. That's what the Bible says, Brother yeah. Fred. Yeah. He was laying in a cave and a stone rolled up, up, up there. Yeah. What did he say to him? Roll away the stone. Yeah. Roll away the stone. They rolled it away. Then what happened, brother? Jesus had something to say, didn't he? Amen. Huh? He said, Lazarus, come forth. And you know what? When Jesus calls you to repentance, he calls your name. Yes, sir. Huh? You yes. believe that, brother? Oh, I know. When he called me to repent, he called my name to the Father. He didn't call me yours. When he called me, maybe, maybe the same time, I don't know. But I knew when he called my name, he was calling me to repent. And he said, Lazarus, come forth. Did Lazarus come forth? You all believe that? Oh, yes. He come forth. Was he alive yet? No, he wasn't, my friend. He wasn't alive yet. He was wrapped in something, wasn't he, Brother Fred? He was wrapped in blue, clothed, made cloth. Then what Jesus had something else to say, didn't he? Grave cloth, loose him, and let him go. How did he come out of there? He was alive, Sister Dorena. You know what? Then you read on, you'll find out he was at a table eating with him. Thank you, Brother Fred. Can you imagine? It's kind of like the movie we saw. I can only imagine. It was a good movie. Yes. I can only imagine. I can only imagine what they was like. Yeah. But someday I'll get to see it. Amen. And I will not have to imagine no more. Amen. Yeah, today, brother. To can you imagine being there and seeing the power of God Amen. and seeing a lavish come out of the tomb? Wow. Can you imagine what that would have been like in the Lord? Now you can only imagine that. Amen. It must have been wonderful. Okay. It must have been something to see. The power of Jesus Christ raised on a dead man. Now, brother, he was dead. He was, brother. He raised him. Amen. And he come out of that tomb. Can you imagine what he had to say? <laughs> oh, I, I would say he rejoiced with you. When you move, I would tell you something else. He didn't only rejoice. He had two sisters there. They must have been jumping pretty high. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They must have been real happy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Why? Because their brother 
that were dead become alive. Yes. And you know what? I rejoice one morning at my Mark 146. I was dead as I could be. Amen. Oh, but did I ever rejoice, brother Ron, when God came in and saved my soul? Amen. Made me alive. Yeah. That which was dead, he made me alive. And you know what? He made me alive for how long? Evermore. Forevermore. Amen. Not to die no more. No. I'll Amen. die naturally so, but my spirit will never die no more. Amen. My soul will never die no more. Amen. Because why? Jesus has got it in control. Amen. He holds it, brother. He says, I hold everyone in the palm of my Amen. head. No one's able to pluck them out. Amen. And not only that, he wrote my name right down there. Yes, he wrote Lord. your name right down there. And, and sometimes I, I believe Brother Tommy, he treats me very special. Oh, but he treats you very special. Yeah. Yeah. He's special to me. Oh, and every now and then he'll read that name off and he'll scold me. <laughs> he said, listen here, Terry Brown, you've done something you ought to do. You know what he does, Brother Lon? He whips me. Yeah. He chastens That's me. Nice. And you know why he chastens me, Sister so Silly? Because he loves me. You're a child. Listen, folks. I treat those chastisements as a joy. Yes. Treat those chastisements, Brother Harley, yes. as what they're meant for. Yes. And to let you know that you are a son and not a bastard. That's right. Somebody didn't want to talk that way. That's what the Bible says. Yes, sir. Right. It's crazy. It's that time, man. I'm glad I'm, I'm today, Brother Fraser. I'm glad today. I'm glad today that Jesus is my king. And he'll always be my king. What about you? Born a king. What about you? He is my king. He is my special savior. He is everything to me. I want you to know today. I love him today. More than anything I can ever say. People get in this thing and say, well, I love him more than I do my children and brother. All these other things. I want you to know that's a natural love. There's a difference in spiritual love and natural love. Yes, there is, brother. Yes. There's a difference, brother Fred. Maybe I stole this from today. I don't know. No, but listen, right. folks. Spiritual love is going to the spiritual man. Yes. Natural love is to the natural man. Yes. We all love our children and grandchildren. Yes. We all love them. How do we know we love them? We'll seek out the Bible on special things. Oh, yeah. We'll do special things for them. Yeah, we'll have a birthday for them. We'll make them a cake. We'll do all the good things we can do. <coughs> but you know what? There's never been a gift like Jesus Christ. No, no. no that's the greatest huh? gift there ever was. Man. There's never been a greater gift ever given. You know, when he was born, that old king, he was mean, but Fred. Uh -huh. yeah. There was wise men. Somebody said there was three. I don't know if I've ever said that or not. I've never read it. I've never read that. But there were wise men. There were wise men. What made them wise, brother? Because they knew all the books or anything else. I didn't want them out, brother. What made them wise, brother? Because they believed Jesus had been born. That made them wise, brother Fred. We try to judge wisdom by how much you know in all the books that have been written. A wise man, what does he do? He, he builds his house upon what? Yeah. On the rock. Amen. 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 The Bible says, you rebuke a wise man, what will he do? Yeah. He'll become wiser. Yes. You rebuke you be a fool, what will he do? He'll hate you, brother. Yes. Somebody said, what is a fool? Well, the heart of the Bible says what the fool is. The Bible, as soon as the man says in his heart, there is no God. It's a fool. Amen, brother. So, Amen. I want you to know today, he's a, the wise man. Went out to seek that baby that was born. And that king was very deceiving. He very conniving. He said, when you found him, when you found him, come tell me all about it. That I may go worship him also. Amen for that. Huh? Amen, brother. And you know, at that point in time, the wild men probably didn't know that they were warned. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. They were warned. Jesus called his people again. 
They were warned yeah. that, that that old king meant to try to kill him. Yeah. That's and then, exactly what he did. And they were warned by Larry, don't you go back that way. You go another way. And who did they obey the king or who? They obeyed, that was a natural king, brother, we were talking about. Yeah. But they obeyed the true king, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And they went another way. All these things have come to pass. Somebody said, well, the Bible not true. The Bible's not true. I don't believe there is no God. I'll tell you what, you start back in the book of Genesis and you go all the way through to Revelation and you tell me how they knew of these things that are going to come to pass. Tell me how they knew of this. Amen. Huh? Except God had given it to them. <coughs> he revealed himself. Like I said many times, I'm going to let Lucky come. All of a sudden, when I watched this many years ago on the History Channel, I got on top of this mountain. Lord, there's fish bones up here. How in the world did they get here? Yeah. On top of this mountain. Yeah, they proved They sought out to disprove it. Yeah. But then they proved it. How did these fish bones get here? I wonder how, Bill Harvey. The earth was covered with water. Yeah. You know what? They talk about the climate change. It may actually be true, but I don't know. This earth is going to burn up. Everything climate change. Don't you never doubt it. Huh? There's going to be a big climate change in this world. And it may not be what our politicians talk about, but there's going to be a climate change you've never seen before. Amen. It's going to get hotter than you've ever seen it before. Quick. Hey, Brother Harvey. Huh? Yeah, amen. You think it's hot yeah. yesterday, or it gets 95 degrees. Yeah, it's hot to this old natural man. Yeah. You ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah. Amen, brother. I'm glad we won't be You ain't here. seen nothing yet. There's going to be a climate change, all right. Don't you never doubt it. It's going to get hotter and hotter and hotter. Hot and it's going to get so hot that it'll hot. the very elements will be on fire, brother. But you know, here's the wonderful thing about that. We don't have to say that. I won't be here. I won't be here. And I don't believe you'll be here. We'll all be called away. Because the Bible says, the dead in Christ shall rise first. But a hinder, we're going to get up and we'll be going to heaven. Amen. And you know what? I've got a reserved seat on that cloud. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. I've got a reserved seat on that cloud. Somebody say, I'm going on a train or a bus. No, you ain't. You're going on a cloud. Amen. What cloud is it? Uh, the great cloud that he went away on. He's coming back again. Amen. But a lot said, well, they said this, we're gonna we're gonna do this, we're gonna do come back here to earth to live. Why don't we meet him in the air for him, my mom? The Bible said we'll meet him in the air. What does say the word of God? Does it include you or put you out? I hope it includes you. Yes. Somebody said, I don't know nothing about my salvation. Spiritual knowledge, I know about spiritual things. Natural things, I don't know about natural things. But the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit. Neither he can even why. They're spiritually discerned. If any of you listen to me today, listen to me. I ain't got no story to tell you. I've got true facts yes, to tell you right here. Amen. I've read the book and I can give you a report. Amen. Jesus is alive. The report is he's alive and alive, alive forevermore. forevermore. Amen. He's got the power in heaven and earth. Yes. He's got the keys of death, hell, and the grave. He's got it all, brother. Yes, sir. But here's the thing about it. He said, I defeated death, yes, hell, and the grave. Yes. That's the power of it. I listened to my Bible the other day. He says, somewhere, he said, your, your father is the devil. Yeah. He told me, he told me, Pharisees, your father is the devil. And he was a murderer from the beginning. Amen. I said he's always perfect. Here. The Bible says he's murdered from the beginning. We're all guilty. We've been found guilty. 
Yeah. And there's only one remedy for sin. Salvation. Only one remedy yeah. for sin. Amen. And they might take an hour for something for you. Get uh, some of a heartburn. It'll come back. Yeah. But Jesus is the remedy for sin. Yeah. Amen. That's right. <laughs> and he covers it all. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. He is worthy of everything we can do for him. Yes, amen. He is worthy of that. Yes, so he earned, he earned the name of the Savior of the world on the cross, brother. He earned that. He was guilty of what they put over his head. Amen. King of the Jews. He was, he was guilty of that. But you know what? He became my king amen. many years ago at mile mark 146. Amen. And I'll never trade him for nobody else. I'll never give him for nobody else. Amen. Because he's the best for all. He's the best we are. He's the best there is. Yes. He's past, present, and future. He's yes. everything to me. Yes. Everything yes. I can think of. So today, it seems like this world is turned upside down. Yes. But it can't yes. Right is wrong and wrong is right. Oh, I'm going to tell you something today. Right is still right with Jesus. And wrong is still wrong with Jesus. Yes. Amen. Whatever you do, no. The Bible says you'll give an account for the deeds done in the body. Amen, I know this has been a different day for me. I've never practiced my preaching. It's been good. Brother. I've never tried to follow eight specific guidelines. Amen. All I've ever tried to follow is the word. This right here. Amen, this is the word, brother. That's good, brother. What kind of word is it? It's the written word of God. In these they are they that testify of me. You think they are what in, in his word are eternal life? No. He is the word. He's the eternal life. Yes, amen. He's everything to you. Yes, amen. Now what are you going to do with Jesus? The choice is yours. Yes. It's not mine. It's yours. Yes. Choose him and live. Deny him and die. Amen. That's my son. Amen. God bless you all. We've already heard faithful we've already heard the word here this morning, Brother Fred. He's coming again, brother. I'm not going to, as far as I know right now, I'm not going to take too long. I thought I wouldn't preach either. <laughs> we never know how it's going to be. I'm like Brother Terry. I, I get up here in faith believing that he'll bless me. I don't have anything pre-planned or made out or anything, but I always want to, I've always wanted to just try to stick as close to the Word, Sister Dorlena, as I possibly can. Yeah. I, I read like the other brethren and study to try to show myself approved, and I want to be approved among you all, but most of all, I want to be approved of God. And it's, uh, I can talk all the day long, but it will not profit you anything. But if God will, he said, if you'd open your mouth, I'll fill it. And if he'll fill it, it'll be good for you and it'll be good for me. Uh, many things will come to my mind. I hope you'll pray. Help me, Lord. We pray to God. God will gather my thoughts in and he'll revelate my mind and maybe give me a little thing, a little something to say here. As I said, Brother Terry has said so many things that has just been so good. Lord, but, uh, help me, I pray. I'm just going to read a little bit too, and I usually don't do this either, but when he he read on some things, I kind of started up my pure mind. And, and this is the this is the key question right here to all of us. It's in the, the old writer Isaiah wrote it in the chapter chapter 53. He said, Who hath believed our report? That's, That's the question. question. Do you believe what you've heard here today? Do you believe this word? And I'm going to read a little longer. <coughs> And he said, Who hath believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? And it goes on to tell us. Now this, Brother Fred, we read this, and it doesn't sound much like a king to the natural man. And this is the way the world looked at Jesus then, and we look at him this, we don't. But the world 
blessed Jesus this way even today. And it tells us how he was going to be. It says, But he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty in him that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of man that is never changed. A man of sorrows, Jesus had many sorrows, and acquainted with grief, and we hid as if it were our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. But here's the good part. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him strict and smitten of God. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Certainly was. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. We are healed. And it says here that all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. You know, Jesus came here to do one thing. He came to do the will of his Father. And his will was that his Son would come down here and pay a debt that we owe to sin debt. And the only way that he could pay that was to hang upon an old wooden cross Lord, help me and shed his God. precious blood for we know that through this there's no remission of sin except for the shedding of blood but his blood was special it wasn't like the blood of the bullocks and the goats that the old high priest used to use when they went into the holy of holies Lord, bless you, my but Jesus God. went into the holy of holies one time and he offered up the, his soul as an offering to God. And he shed his blood upon, upon that cross. And when he shed that blood, there was a door open. And that door was open oh, back to the tree of life, sister. We know that Jesus come. And you know the scripture that come to my mind, Brother Terry, that the scriptures that tells us that the foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests. But the Son of God hath not where to lay his head. I believe he came here. I believe, I believe he was a king, but he came here to be poor that you might become rich through his precious blood. Honey, listen, I don't believe he had much in this present world. And I believe he went from city to city, maybe Brother Fred, maybe staying with some of the apostles or some of the ones that would receive him. <laughs> but honey, I want you to know he had one goal, Brother Terry. Oh, Lord, help him, God. Even though he was poor up on this earth, he was going to a cross that we, through his sacrifice, might become rich. Mm -hmm. Honey, I'm glad that Jesus had his eyes upon that old cross that was fixed like a flint. Honey, oh, it was the plan him, God. of God that Jesus would come and do his will. I'm thankful for the plan of salvation that God had ordained before the foundation of the world. Lord, help God. I Pray believe Lord. that before the earth was formed, before man was made, I believe that God seen that his creation would sin against him, would leave him, sister, according to his will, would sin as Adam sinned in the garden, so the, the curse of death Brother Fed fell right down up on him. Yep. Honey, and we've all, we're all just multiplied atoms here this morning. Honey, oh, we know, God. as the scripture says, like sheep have gone astray. But thank God that Jesus came willing to do the will of his Father. Honey, listen to his time. I hope you'll pray. Oh, yeah, his God. time. Pray, we Lord. all know that he came and he done many great things. Worked many great miracles among people. He loved. He loved his own sister Brenda. He came to them and he preached his own gospel to them, but they denied him. They wanted they him. Listen, but I want you to know that didn't stop him from loving them. The scripture says that God commanded his love towards us, that while we were yet sinners, he died. Fresh. He ungodly, brother. I want you to know that while you and I were out in sin, Jesus hung upon that old cross, and he hung when he was hanging between the heavens and the earth. You and I was on his mind, 
The whole Adam generation, honey, listen. He loved us and hid the blood that was shed on Calvary's hill was for you and for I. Honey, listen, I'm thankful to Jesus. Brother Lonnie came to die, brethren. He had a job. He knew, brethren. God, I believe that God told him that when you go down there, that you're going to have to die in order to come back to heaven. You'll have to take on the sin of the whole world in order to be able to come back to me in heaven. But I believe that Jesus was willing, brethren, to lay his life down, Brother Fred, to come down here to be born of a virgin, to take up on the curse of death upon himself so he could go to the cross so he could defeat Satan by his own precious blood. Listen, there was a time, brother, Helping from Lord. the garden up to Moses that death reigned, brothers and sisters, and every man and every woman that had been born into the earth, and it's the same way today. We've all had the fear of death, but listen, I want you to know that Jesus came and he tasted death for every man, brothers and sisters. When he hung upon the cross, he shed his blood to give us a right back to the tree of life. But honey, listen, that wasn't the most important part, brother. No, no. Honey, listen, on the third and appointed day, he got us. Listen, God spoke to him, brother, and just as he did Lazarus, I believe he said, Jesus arise. And he arose victorious over death, hell, and the grave. Honey, listen, I believe Satan thought he'd had him defeated. I believe, brother, I really that when they buried him, Satan thought he would have power over mankind for the rest of eternity. Oh. But that wasn't the plan of God. Listen, when Jesus arose, honey, he took the keys away from Satan, and he now has all power, essence, and glory. And if you've been born again through the Lord Jesus Christ in that appointed day when the Lord comes back, He's going to speak. And if we're in the ground, Brother Terry, yeah. we're going to raise just like Jesus did. Honey, you say, do you believe that? I absolutely believe it. Because I've already been dead once. I died once a long time ago. Listen, I was dead, brothers and sisters, in trespasses and sins. I had sinned against a holy God in God's eyes, brethren. Honey, listen, I had sinned and left him, brethren, by my own free will. Honey, but listen, thanks be to God, I had heard, Brother Terry, about a man a long time ago, and his, man, his name was Jesus. I heard about how he suffered, how he went to the cross, how he shed his blood, and he done it for me. I couldn't understand how anybody's sister could have that kind of a love. I was looking at it as the brother spoke through natural eyes. I couldn't understand when the book told me that I was a sinner and that I was lost. I couldn't understand that. I thought I was a pretty good fella, but I wasn't. I was lost. I was walking around out here. I, I was alive in the flesh, brother. But I was dead in trespasses and sins. My soul, my soul was dead. Honey, listen, but when Jesus come to me, listen, there in my living room, many years ago, he let me understand, brother, and he drew me out of darkness, Sister Rita, into his marvelous light. And listen, when he bid me to come, I but knelt down on the floor. I had a broken heart, you see. I had a broken heart and a contrite spirit. The Word of God had wounded me a long time ago. Listen, I it let me understand that I was lost, ruined, and undone. That I needed a covering for my sins. I had to. I tried to cover myself, brothers and sisters. I tried to make myself good enough. I thought I could work, work my way in, brothers and sisters. But there come a day when I was weighed in the balance. Oh, yeah. And I was found wanting, Brother Lonnie. I fell short. I, when, they, when I compared myself to other men, I stacked up pretty good against them, Brother Tommy. But when I fell before a righteous God, I was weighed in the balance and I was found wanting. I needed a Savior because hell was going to be my home. I knew it, brothers and sisters. And it wasn't because of what grandmother or grandfather told me, but it was what the Spirit of God let me know. Yes, 
And I finally, after many years of suffering, I began to examine myself and I fell short. But when I come to a place that Jesus drew me for what I felt like was my last time, I laid, I laid everything, 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 my whole heart, I laid it upon the altar of God and I said, God, here I am, save me. I perish, or I perish. And listen, he was faithful and just to save my soul. It's been 26 years now and he's still holding me up with his right hand, leading me through this wilderness country. If you've been born again, honey, You've got the same experience. You've been born again, been made alive through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. But most of all, honey, as I said on that third and appointed day, thank God he arose from the grave. And then the scriptures tells us that if you have believed in my son, Jesus Christ, you have been justified in the eyes of God and you have peace with your heavenly father. Honey, there's nothing like the peace of God. And yes, listen, I'll say this. When he saved my soul and when he saved your soul, there's no rest for this outer man in this world. But when we were saved, we entered into a rest. When we're troubled, when we're on the seas and the waves begin to roll high, Brother Harvey, we can go into our secret closet and begin to utter a little prayer. And there's a peace that comes over us. But brothers and sisters, one of these days, we're going to enter, enter into an eternal rest. And even this body is going to be in communion with God because we're going to have the body of uh, the most, our most glorious Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, honey. And we're going to be presented to the Heavenly Father because we have believed. The Scripture says, who is this that has come up through the wilderness that has suffered many yes. tribulations. And it's the church. Honey, listen, listen. Money. We were bought with a great price. Honey, listen, a great price, Brother Terry. Yes, sir. It was by the precious blood of the Lamb. It was the only way that we had a way back to the tree of life. And it was through His blood. Listen, you know, in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus went away three times from the apostles. And the last time he went, oh, honey, he was grieved in spirit. Grieved in spirit. He knew his hour had almost come. He began to pray. And the scripture says that his blood became, his sweat became as great drops of blood. And he listened. He said, Father, Father, I know that thy will. It said, the bitter cup is upon me. He said, Father, if it be thy will, Lord, take this cup away from me. It was a most bitter cup. But he said, nevertheless, he said, Father, your, your will be done. And then right then there was an angel come down from heaven and strengthened our Savior, Jesus Christ. He became weak in the flesh, but he knew. He knew he had to make, he had to go to the cross. He had to go to Calvary's hill. For if he'd not, we'd not had any way back to the tree. Honey, listen, I'm glad for the cross. I'm glad that he suffered for you and for me. And listen, it even it pleased God that he was bruised this morning. It was pleased God. And you know when Jesus died, the scripture says that it glorified our Heavenly Father. Absolutely. Because it was the plan of God. Honey, listen, and Jesus <coughs> said there at one time, he said, Father, restore unto me the glory that I had with thee before the foundation of the world. Honey, I believe that when he went back to heaven, Lord, I, I believe there was a great shout, and I believe that all the glory that he had with the Father before the foundation of the world, God restored that, and now he has power, all, all power, essence of glory, brother friend. Honey, listen, and then you've got ones out here that says, Lord, you can be saved today and lose it tomorrow. Uh -huh. Honey, I never worried one bit about losing yeah. what God gave me. Yeah. I've wor worried about many things in the flesh. But sister, not one time, and God knows my heart, not one time have I ever worried about losing what God gave me. Because yeah. I knew, brother, when he saved me, and when God does the work, 
Honey, it's an eternal work. And we've got an everlasting abider, yeah. sister, that's a leading us to heaven. And I expect to one day to lay myself down, which will be our crown. We're going to lay ourselves down around the throne of God and praise Him and praise Him. And we're going to sing a song that we can't sing here. I, I can't hold a tune in the bucket here, Brother Tommy, naturally speaking. But honey, He's going to tune me up when I get there. Yes, sir, I'm looking for it. I'm a looking for it. It's real to me, Brother Terry. Absolutely. It's real to me now, yeah. brothers and sisters. And I hope it's real to you. Honey, this isn't, yeah. as the brother said, this isn't a fog bank. Yeah. This is a serious matter. Honey, listen. You're going to be judged right here in this present world for eternal life. Honey, I was judged a long time ago. Many years ago, some of you know, a lot longer than what I, it's been for me. But if you <laughs> deny him in this world, and you fail to repent. You can tell me you're a good person, and I'll tell you you're not a good person. I didn't come here to tell you that you're good. And I didn't tell you, I didn't come here to tell you I'm good. Because I'm not. The only good part about me is what God done for me. He saved my soul. Honey, and as the brother said, there's only one good. Jesus <coughs> said it himself. There's only one good, and that's my Father, which is in heaven. If you want to be good, Get the good one inside you. Amen. Honey, he's the one you want. The Holy Spirit of promise. How do you get it? First of all, you hear the word of God. It'll wound you because it's wounded every man or woman that's ever been born. And then he'll set up a godly sorrow in your heart. And if you'll follow that godly sorrow, it'll lead you to repent. It's not to be repented of. Listen, when you repent with a broken heart, in the contrite spirit, God will say he will look, he'll save your soul, he'll cast your sins as far away from you as the east is from the west, never to be brought up against you anymore. Honey, we've already been judged for eternal life, but if you fail to repent, you're going to be the, your judgment is going to fall upon you, and it, your future will be sealed. You will be in the great day of judgment. There's a great white throne judgment and the laws will appear there and there's going to be a judge there. And as the brother preached, it's going to be the righteous judge, Jesus Christ. And you're going to get the exact just re recompense of reward, exactly what you've sowed here, you're going to reap it. Yep. And he's going to look and there's going to be a book that's going to open up. It's going to open light. And he's going to look in that book and everything that you've ever, ever sinned that you've ever committed, right here on this earth is being recorded. I believe this. You'll be included in unbelief. That's right. And when you stand before the judgment, judgment bar of Christ, honey, you're going to give an account. He's going to look. Every sin that you've committed is going to come up before you. And all you're going to be able to do is say guilty. You'll have to say amen to your own condemnation. Yep. I believe it's going to be, I, I don't believe they'll even be able to utter a word because they know they're guilty. You know me. There'll be no need. And he's going to look in that book, and if your name's not been written, he's going to say, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, for I never knew you. Yep. Honey, listen, but that's not the worst thing. You're going to be cast into the lake of fire that was prepared for the devil and his angels, and if you go there, you'll go as an intruder. That's what it says. And there's going to be weeping and wailing, gnashing of teeth, and the smoke of your torment will ascend up forever and forever. And that's not the worst part of it. The worst part of it is the love of God is not going to be there. No. God will not be there. There's no water to drink either. That's right. And there's no drop of water in that lake. But the thing is, even while we were out in sin, the love of God was still around us. Yeah. He blessed us with Christian people to, to talk to us along the way. And we even got this. I'll even say this. Brother Terry, while we were out in sin, we tasted of the goodness of God. Got you yeah. Is that right, brother? I felt the Spirit of God along the way. Mm -hmm. I wasn't saved. I was lost. But His Spirit, I seen the love in His people. Yeah. And they would love me. That was the love of God. But listen, if you're 
cast into the lake of fire. How many all that's going to be gone? gone, gone. You can pray, pray, and it'll not be heard. And I believe this. I'll say this and I'll get out of the way. When that rich man was in hell, and he's still there today, yeah. he's seen Lazarus in Abraham's bosom. And I believe, now this is me, and I believe scriptures will back it up. I believe the lost will be able to slip right up into heaven and they'll see, Brother Fred, their loved ones. Mm -hmm. And for all eternity, they'll remember all the times that they told them they loved them and all the times that they tried to get them to come to church. Yes. And they'll have all eternity to dwell on that. Mm -hmm. What a terrible thing it would be to see your loved ones that you love so much upon the earth and you're not going to be able to ever get to them again. They can't hear you. They don't even know that you're there. <coughs> Listen. Don't, if the Lord is working with you today, there's an old song. That says, will the family circle be unbroken? Yeah. Yeah. And I wonder how many families are going to be broken. And the ones that don't repent are going to hell. So listen, if the Lord is dealing with you, and that's the only time you can be saved, when the Lord is dealing with you, honey, listen. I say these things out of love. And I don't I don't want to hurt you. If anything hurts you, I want this word to hurt you. If it'll wound you, it'll be good for you. But I just want you to know that we love you here at the Little Jewel. And we want to see everybody saved. If I faith, you're either going to love us or you're going to hate us. That's just the way it is. And I hope you love us. But listen, it's all about Jesus. It's not all about me yeah. or Brother Terry or anybody else. We're just workers in the vineyard, and we're all going to get the same amount, the same reward. I mean, we're just here to do a little job, and we fail miserably most of the time. So we all look to the Lord for our help. So, uh, so I, I'm out of gas. So. Hey, get your song. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Brother Fred, get you a song. It's been some
I have something I want to say. You know Jesus had brothers and sisters when he lived here? He did. He had brothers and sisters when he lived here. But you know what? Mary only had one son that was conceived in the Holy Ghost. Only one son. The friend that's conceived in the Holy Ghost. The rest of them were natural. Somebody said, you didn't have a brother and sister. You better read your Bible. I think you had four brothers. And sister, at least two sisters. At least two. But they weren't like Jesus. They were born of Joseph. But Jesus was conceived of the Holy Ghost from his father in heaven. Let's just tell you how special he is. He is very special. Amen, brother. He's something to talk about. Born again. He's something to praise about. He's something I can't tell you about. I've been trying for 38 years to tell you. Can't get it told. And I can't get it all told. Amen. The Bible says this. Come and taste of me. See that I'm good. See that I'm good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Why? Why is he good? Nobody else can pay that price for him. Amen. He's wonderful. He's Prince of Peace. He's everything. I wish I could tell you how good he really is. Sometimes I eat my favorite food, which is just about chicken or fish. I can go to Cracker Barrel and I can get that chicken bang in their life. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Oh, it's good. But you know what it does for me, 